Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question Ash five. That is, what are the features you check before you purchase a mobile phone? If you get this kind of question in the software testing interviews, then the interviewer might be trying to check your decision making skills. Okay, the interviewer who is asking this kind of question in the interviews may be trying to check how you are thinking. Or how your decision making skills are. So to give a proper answer, guys, you can give all this stuff. Okay, you can explain all this stuff. So generally, what we do, guys, uh, when we purchase a mobile, okay, if I have to answer this question, guys, I'll say something like this. Okay, so I'll check the price, guys, because I need to check whether the required mobile phone is my, in my budget or not, right? So I'll first prefer my price. Okay, how much price? Let's say I want to spend around twenty five thousand. Okay, in twenty five thousand range, what mobiles are coming? I'll check first. I'll not go beyond twenty five thousand. Second thing is I'll check the quality guys. Okay, whatever the mobile phone I'm trying to purchase that should be of good quality. Okay, don't want to use change the mobile phones often. Whatever the mobile I want to purchase uh, that should be long lasting like uh, at least uh, four to five years. I want to use I don't want to change my mobile in two years or something. Okay, according to my requirements. Okay, so I'll just prefer the quality guys because for small issues. I don't want to change the mobile. So I'll check the quality of the smartphone that I want to purchase. Next thing, I'll check the reviews, guys. Okay, customer reviews. So, how many reviews the customers have provided, and uh, if they have provided, whether they have provided a uh, four and above or not, and whether the reviews, the comment section, I'll check and see, like if there are any problems with any of the parts of the mobile. Sometimes some people will say that the camera is not good. Some people will say battery is draining fast. Okay, that kind of reviews, I'll go through all the reviews and uh, come to a conclusion whether this mobile is for me or not. Okay. So price quality reviews I will check first. Then I will check whether the mobile phone is easy to use or not. Okay, so I make walk in into one of the okay. Once I decide this is a mobile phone, I will walk in into the re respective mobile phone stores and actually start using the mobile there and see like uh, the look and feel and uh, you know right the way I am using the functionalities features of the mobile. It's kind of good or not. I will check there. Okay, it should be easy for me to use. So I generally prefer Android over iOS guys because. Uh, I'm a Android user and I'm habituated to that. So I'll I'll see in the Android section and uh, in that Android section whether it is easy to use or not something I'll see. And the main important thing I will check is whether that particular mobile I'm going to select or purchase is as per my needs or not. Okay, don't worry about what other people are using. My according to my needs whether the mobile phone is there or not. Few of the needs are like you see I consider my battery guys. Okay, battery of the mobile I generally consider. The reason behind that is, you see, when I travel to some distance or something, I should not. Uh, you see, the power should not drain out. Okay, if I go on a trip or something, or if I travel to some destination, if I want to use my mobile, and if that mobile charging is draining out very fast, that is a problem, right? I don't want to carry a extra power bank and all. Okay, so the battery, how much time the battery charging will be there? Okay, so then next uh, display size, guys. I will check the display size because you see, I prefer. Re Watching videos, okay, all the technical videos or whatever the videos I movies or something I generally watch in the mobile phone. If the screen size is big, I can watch them clearly. So I generally prefer a bigger sized uh, mobile phone, okay, which is having a bigger display size. Mobile phones having bigger display size, I prefer. This is my need, guys. Okay. So then storage, guys. Like I just keep, I just store a lot of stuff in my mobile. Like I take a lot of pictures, I I capture a lot of videos and all those stuff. So. If the storage size is very less, I cannot take that mobile. Okay, so I generally go with a good amount of storage, like 64 GB and all those stuff. Okay, then RAM. You see, this processor and RAM should be good, guys. So, so if the the functioning of the mobile need to be smooth and all, the processor and RAM are something that should be good. I generally don't prefer any uh, mobile having RAM less than 6 GB. Okay, 6 GB. Here some spelling mistake is there. That's okay. 6 GB is the RAM. I generally prefer and processor. And uh, whether it has a good processor or not. Okay, so these two things are important things. Okay, so I'll just choose a RAM and processor actually properly. And then camera, guys. So you see, generally mobile phone we take a lot of camera uh, photos. Okay, the front and back camera photos are coming good or not. Okay, so naturally they have to take it. So they, it should not be artificial. Some mobile phones have artificial photos kind of stuff, but I don't prefer that. I want uh, the camera to be kind of natural. Okay, so and uh, very clear, crystal clear kind of thing. It should be front and back. Uh, very good uh, resolution should be there. Okay, megapixels. Number of SIMs. I use. I prefer two SIMs. Okay, these are all my needs, guys. As per my needs, I will be selecting the mobile. Okay, 
so number of sims i gen generally maintain two sims okay one for my personal use and one for my work purpose so i just prefer two two sims okay if a mobile is uh, allowing you to use two sims then i'll take that okay if not i'll reject that and security features guys you see nowadays mobiles are coming with different options like uh, you know right uh, touch now uh, with your touch finger touch you can open the screen lock and face recognition everything this kind of security features are coming so i generally prefer them and uh, generally choose the mobile which has some advanced security features okay so that my data that is my work data and all thing can be stay safe and all those stuff okay so so these are these are my needs guys okay as per my needs i'll be selecting the mobile and it should be in my budget and uh, according to the uh, reviews feedback and popularity of the mobile in the market i generally make a decision of how to purchase the mobile okay before purchasing the mobile i make all these decisions okay so hope guys you got the answer for this question and how to answer this question in the interview this kind of answer is enough guys okay no one can answer more than this so guys uh, see you in the next uh, session where i'm going to answer another interview question on software testing for you till then bye